Well, that was an experience. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today, still in Niles, Michigan, and I am at Michiana Antique Mall. Not been here before, but I'm excited to see what we can find today. Look at all of the babies. There's big babies and little babies. Cute. All right, one thing, this is, it seems like a huge place, but there is a lot of cases. So we're gonna do what we can do. That's beautiful. It's $395. It is a Swedish with the stir sterling on it. That's gorgeous. Booth is 25% off, and I see this. This is a modern reproduction, I do believe. Yes, it's Teleflora. Yeah, look at this set here. This is so cool. It's Maurice Burke coffee table, and it's got the four swivel chairs. It's $595. I would have that in my house in a heartbeat. Oh, I don't know, Mark not gonna like this if I get her but she's a little Annalie witchy witch she's like the wicked witch with her apple she's got a little spider she's ten dollars I think she's Annalie yeah she's Annalie Mark's not gonna be happy because there's they scare him he's scared of Annalie I love her little witchy nose too but we're gonna get her oh there's a lot of Russell Wright pieces here oh Steubenville, 138 for the pitcher. There's a single shaker for 12. Now, I've sold this teapot before. I can't remember what colorway I had it in. It's 110. I did not sell mine for that much. That is for sure. Look at this jardinier and flower pot. What? That's amazing. I'm not even seeing a sticker or anything on it, so I don't can't tell you anything more about it but wow this is the most ceramic art studio pieces i've seen in one spot so they are retail price these guys are 78 dollars, and the salt and pepper shakers were 25 but that's the most i've ever seen in one spot that's kind of nice to see all right i do believe that this is either probably ellie smith or probably i think more indiana glass but it's fine well let's see what it says amber covered candy dish oh it says a chip under the lid Oh, it sure does. Well, thank you, Tag, for telling me. I was going to get it for $5, but I think we'll leave it behind. I like that, though. I appreciate that that Booth wrote that on there because I don't... Mark went to go get a cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, not me. I'm not having lunch. I'm continuing to shop. He's going to meet me back over here, but um, I... Um, he's not with me right at the moment, so... I didn't have him to check it for me. But, um, let's see. There's babies down there. There's lots of stuff to see. Here's a piece of stretch glass for 40. Let's go over here on this side. I gotta talk a lot because this mu the music's kinda loud. I'm still, you guys, I have to, I'll try to get on film Mark's reaction when he sees I have that Anna Lee in my cart. Cause he's scared boy. Oh, this is pretty though for 60, are you? locked bottom of it isn't locked is the top locked i don't know there's a lot of locked booths which makes it hard so oh there's lots of cameras those are nice i love these with the accordion style thing that one's fifty dollars there's a whole big thing of keys these make really nice um Actually, I might get a couple of these. They're four dollars. They make really nice displays for your um, Christmas tree toppers. Little oil cans do. I also had this little Fisher Price pop up pal. Oh, it's twenty five dollars. Look, there she is. She used to pop up a little bit more. I remember this too. And then the little squirrel. He's ten dollars. Here's strawberry shortcake thermos for fifteen. We got bologna and cheese there. But the little people cars, I just bring them back some memories there. This booth in here is 50% off cash or check. Everything else is 20% off. Well, that makes a pretty big difference in how you pay, doesn't it? That's, oh, she's pretty. Has a chip. It's probably, oh, uh, Vienna, yeah. Let's 
really, really pretty. She's $30, but she does have a chip, but, but she would be 50% off if you're paying in cash. That is a lot of Franciscan apple. That is a lot of Franciscan apple. That's a little owl here for 40. Um, some from uh, Desert Rose. Ooh, here's some more Russell Wright. This should, these should have had an under plate that went with them. And again, one salt shaker. Ooh, it's, it's, it's a contemporary piece of crimped handkerchief glass. This is pretty though. Glass white case. Fourteen dollars. Gosh, it would be fifty percent off if you're paying in cash and check. That's really pretty, isn't it? Music's really loud, so I'm gonna try to talk fast. But I got this henna sand um, can. It's six dollars. It's actually twenty percent off. It has great graphics on it. Wonderful colors for a Halloween display. I love it. Behind the candelabra. A horrible, horrible story and book. Do not recommend. Lots of these vintage and little Christmas lights. I love that little cubie one. It's $80. Prices are a little spendy in, on those. So let's see, there's, like I said, there's a lot of cases. Oh, I just bought a couple, bought four of them for $12 at the, at the other place we went to today. How much do they want for these? $24 for one. So I think I got a good deal at the other place. But here we've got Easter. Oh no, there's, there's a witchy. She's 18. So we've got some, oh my gosh, there's cupie. He's a little celluloid cupie for 58. Hmm. Can't do that. We've got some Rossboro for 20. That's not too bad. It's retail. I mean, I can't get it for to resell it. Those are nice. Those reflectors are $20. I think maybe for the whole stack, possibly. Lots of babies in here. Oh, there's Cupie right there for 128. Cupie there for 22. Oh, I have those four little puppy books. Oh, and I love those. Oh, look at that ditty bitty Cupie for 26. Yeah, I mean this. They have a lot of really cool things, but it's hard to see because they're all in cases so far. So it makes it hard because you have to constantly get somebody and that's hard to do if you see things in lots of cases oh but look at that display up there let me zoom in on that so you can see that look at that that's amazing that's 48 dollars for the bull look at these wow 110 dollars uh for the teapot it does have a chip on the back it says i do appreciate that they write those down there but look at the little celluloid cupie this little suitcase and top hat he's 48 i got a few things in my cart but i couldn't record me getting them because the music was very loud in that spot but again so here's another booth but again there's just lots of cases which makes it hard i mean i understand the reason why but it makes it really hard Global Atlas. Oh my gosh. Ragdoll sheet music. That's adorable. This booth is, I think, 20% off. Maybe not. I don't know. Life Magazine. I don't do those. Delta Airlines seat covers. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can see. Mark's overlooking at other things. He is back from his lunch. Oh, cute Cupy paper dolls. Cupy Ken paper dolls. $15. Oh, it is vintage from whatever that is. Are you, are you on sale, Booth? I'll have to see. Because I'd like to get both of these, but I don't. That's kind of. To go out here and see if there's a sign somewhere. Oh, look at that. I don't need this though. I do not need another one. It is three fifty, but I don't know. There's a little Smurf thing, and there is a. Um, I've sold that milk bottle before. It's eighteen. Is there a sign? 
No, it's not. But here's Smurfs. You have to be careful with Smurfs because not all Smurfs are vintage. Um, they did remakes of them. Oh, there's a little cabbage patch, a little candle. Or no, it's a nightlight. How much is this? $15. Yeah, that's a cabbage. Are these all? That's a Lucite cabbage patch nightlight. This is a Lucite from the Olympics. I, or a stamp. And a hat. $15, though. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I'm going to do these either. Okay, this is a bootleg cabbage patch if I've ever seen one. <laughs> it does have cabbage patch clothes on, but you're an imposter. I think Liz Retro's in one of her newer videos, which thank you Liz Retro's for putting out more content. We love you Liz Retro's. But she found a doll like this from the 90s. This girl's in her original clothes, but she doesn't have her original shoes or anything. They want 20 bucks for her. So we're not going to do that. It's lots of fun to cook. You can make little weenie dogs out of bread. Fun to make and eat. Oh no, we won't be doing that. But look at that. Chocolate hedgehogs. Yeah, everybody would like to have that, right? $7.50 for this book. Look, see? Sausage dogs. Well, this is a lot of moon and stars. That is a lot of Ellie Smith glass there. It's 30% off. We've got the lamp for 120. There's a little Daisy and Buttons, how much they want for this. $10. Daisy and Button. Wow, it goes all the way over here too. Some canisters down there. The canisters are 40 each. Oh, these are cute. These little salt, salt sellers. I've not seen those before. They're 15 each. Yeah, lots of little banana baskets. Lots. So I did find, this is a nice little display here of calendars, but we've got, um, this is 1905, and it's um, February's Missing, so there's 11 calendar sheets. It's $15, but this is from 1905, and has all these different cupies. These will be great in different frames, I think. So I am going to get that. Oh, I did get... Well, I have to check the prices on some of these because they weren't marked. But this is Yippee Cowboy. It has great graph. Well, okay, this is $5. But it was 45% um, off. And then these Golden Press books with the, um, like, holographic, they didn't have a price. So I'm going to check on those. Same with these action books. So you turn the pages. Actually, those are $5 each. But they were 45% off. And then this is a queen size duvet. I think it would be great as a tablecloth. It was $14. So I did pick up those. But I think I'm going to get that Cupid calendar. But look, here's a calendar here from 1912. And that's the year that the Titanic sunk. This 1912 calendar is $9. There's several of these little booklets here too. But let's look in... 1925 and 1930. 1925, but this is a great way for them to display their calendars for sale, too. The Plasters Handbook. Okay, oops. And then let's look at 1941. I was kind of looking for like. Pin up, pin up the calendars, which are probably all I've already been chosen. This one, I've sold this one before. He's got a little bunch of little pixies down there. It's missing the, it's missing the top cover art on it though. But I don't know, just a great way to display them, right? There's 1951, 1960. So I've gotten quite a bit of ephemera. I did get this 1969 um, catalog from South Bend, but it's got a lot of great 1969 style things in it. But I got a lot of teaching ephemera. So the, all of these are going to be available in an upcoming sale. And I got so many mid-century modern home catalogs. So 
I'm super excited. Oh my god, there's more of Ephra. But I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Mark's not, but I am. This booth has been just the best because it's, I'm just finding so many cool things for great prices and it's not in a case. So that's nice. That is nice because I don't want to ask people to open up cases. I just don't. So here's some jewelry. Mm, they have things, they have things just so nicely labeled. So let me look through. There's bracelets, earrings, pendants, assorted. They just did a really good job at just displaying things. Here's the baseball ephemera. There's Farmer's Market, Los Angeles. Six dollars for that. I probably should get that. Hmm. I just love the ephemera so much, but Mark could look at it for about five minutes and he's bored to tears with it, but oh, we've got some advertisement pieces here. I always look for things that look great in holiday displays. Selected popcorn. But yeah, so far, I mean, this, this mall has been, they have a lot of nice, great things in here, but a lot of it's in cabinets. So if you don't prefer that, then you may not enjoy your shopping trip here. Um, but, but so far I'm loving this area back here. Look at, everything's just organized. This is where the pin rests are. And here's a perpetual calendar, one for 20. I do like perpetual calendars. I always try to buy those when I can. I mean, I just, I like the way that he, that they've got their booth set up. I appreciate it. Okay, so these are $2 each, but that, ha that one has a little bit of a boober on it, but okay, look, well, here. Got the night before Christmas. This one is $4 from 1962. Santa's dot to dot is $2. Night Before Christmas is 5 I am paying for those because I love them so much. This is $3 for the Magic Mirror Bambi record. And then this is Polly Pangle. She is from... She's $4.50. Oh, look at her little doll. Polly Pangle. So, my God, it's a lot of ephemera. Look at the phones. Oh my gosh, it's just crazy. Like over here, this just makes me happy. This whole area right here just makes me happy with excitement. There's comics when knighthood was in flower. Whatever that means. I see a Viking platter. That would be great for, it's $46. I'm not going to get it because I, I didn't do too well on the ones that I sold. That's gorgeous. And then down here we have the little Nestle's um, restaurant wear, Inca wear. Uh, $10, I don't, like $10 and $8. I'm not quite sure about the pricing on that. Oh my gosh, I have this in red. Do I need one in green? So this cabinet is 25% off. I see Cameo Coopies. Cameo Coopies, $78. There's a Mugsy Mug. But yeah, no. The Anthropomorphic are $76. Yeah. There's Mr. Potato Head, but you can make Mr. Potato Carrot, not Mr. Potato Carrot, but Mr. Carrot. That's like the vintage one that came with the fruit bodies. They want 55 for that. There's a lot of really cool things here, but man, like the ballerina couple, 135. Hmm. Yeah, it's bendy. I did find this little moth can. You know, we usually buy the, we find the Halloween look ones, but look at how cute that one is. It'll still kill your moths. And I kind of think it still has the poison on the inside. I don't think it's ever been used. But great colors to it. And it is $8.50. But I've never seen that one before. So I'm going to get that one. Well, 
that was an experience. I got all that ephemera. Man, that was great. Mark did not have a good time looking through the ephemera, but I did. But, okay, here's the thing. I am, I'm you typically always go in here and shop and still go in here and shop. But the prices were pretty expensive. There were a lot, a lot of cabinets that you had to ask to get unlocked. And there, it wasn't the easiest to get them to unlock them. So just, if you, if you have patience, then this is a great place to go, right? Right. But that one booth, that one booth is worth the trip where I got all the ephemera. But so, you know, sometimes that's the way it is. It's just, this was an older mall and they have, it took us a while to check out. Luckily we didn't have any glass, right Mark? Right. We'd still be in there for another half an hour. Yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for shopping with us. Um, all the ephemera will be available in an upcoming live sale. Um, but yeah, we're still having a good, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. All right. Thank you guys so much for shopping along with me and we'll see you in the next one. Red hot mama, red hot mama, you're the one we need. Red hot mama, some drama, yes indeed. You say that I should be in the follies, hot tamales. You say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Sven Valleys. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town and unless I miss my guess.